Hello and what's up everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today in this video I'm going to show you how you can remove expired subscription from your Apple ID or your iPhone account. So first of all what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how and where you can see your subscriptions or your expired subscription. So first thing that you need to do is go to your app stores and once in your app store on the top right corner you would see the profile. Click on the profile and it'll take you to this window. And scroll down in this window and you'll find an option called personalized recommendations. Click on that and this window will pop up and in here you need to look for subscription. Click on subscription and it'll take some time depending on your internet connection and it'll show you the subscriptions that you have subscribed to or the Android application from which you have brought subscription. So basically here you can see that you have subscribed to these apps but unfortunately you can't remove the subscriptions from here because iPhone doesn't allow this. So if you want to remove the subscriptions or you, if you want to remove the expired subscriptions, basically what happens is it takes about a year. You will have to wait almost a year for those subscriptions to be removed from your Apple account. But that doesn't mean that there is no way around it. So what you need to do is you would have to sign out from your Apple ID. So to sign out from Apple ID, what you need to do is go to the settings and in the settings on the top, you'll see your profile. Click on your profile and scroll down, scroll down and you see the option of sign out. Once you click on it and then enter your PIN, then it'll sign you out from your account and then you'll have to create a new ID and sign in from that ID and that way you will have a fresh account with no subscription on it. I know it takes a lot of time to create an ID, add the details and fill up all the essentials but there is a third way which is effective way which really helps in the term of subscriptions. So what it is, is basically you add an app limit to your Play Store. So when you add an app limit to your Play Store, you can use that app for a specific amount of time. And once that time's up, it shuts down the app for that day, for that specific day. That app limit will be applied to that app for this specific day within the 24 hour periods. You can use that app only under that app limit, the time that you have allotted for that app to be used within 24 hours. So to enable app limit, what you need to do is click on screen time in your settings. And after that, what you need to do is look for app limits. Click on app limits and it'll take you to this window. Here you will see an option called add limit. Click on add limit and you'll see a bunch of options or a bunch of uh, categories of app you can select from. What we need to do is on the top, we click on search and then here we type in app store. Once we type in app store, we'll see a bunch of apps. So we click on app store, we select the app store and then we click on add. You will see add on the top right corner and click on the add button and it'll add the app store to the app limits and after that click on next and you'll see app store there select app store and then go and associate a time period for this example I'll take one minute and click add once I press add so now what is going to happen is the app store can only be used one minute once we use it for one minute after that the app will shut down for itself and thus nobody can see your subscriptions or nobody can go into your app store and search for apps or buy new subscriptions or buy new apps. This is the third way you can get away or get around the subscription issue. So this is it. I hope you found what you were searching for and yeah. I hope you found this video helpful. Please drop a like. Comment if you have any question. I'll show you the best way to do it. And subscribe for more content like this. Until next time. Peace.